Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed, go and smash that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell up in the corner. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Today I'm going to be explaining to y'all how a BMW uh, dual clutch transmission works. So the dual clutch transmission is a very controversial uh, transmission, but it's basically a combination of a manual and a uh, automatic in a way. So it's going to have seven gears. So basically each clutch on the car is hydraulically powered with tons and tons of sensors and etc that relay information to the car. You're gonna have one clutch controlling all the odd gears, while the other clutch is gonna control all the even gears. So basically how this is gonna work is as you're driving the car, the car is gonna shift automatically. So all your gears are gonna shift as they go automatically. But now the neat part to having this is, rather than having a manual where you have to grab the knob and shift it over and have a clutch pedal you have to hit, there's no clutch pedal on these cars. It's all hydraulically controlled. Basically, as you're shifting gears with a manual, there's a one second or half a second delay as you're shifting because it's in a limbo status almost. With a dual clutch transmission, your transmission's constantly engaged. It only takes a few milliseconds uh, for the car to shift on your command or automatically, just like an automatic. So you're never losing that connection or that power to the car itself. The car is always staying in motion overall this basically is going to help with fuel economy cars with dual clutch transmissions tend to be about 10 percent uh, more fuel efficient and also you feel way more connected to the car itself and you get a better power output so that's basically how it works overall i'll go ahead and leave a link up above and down below for a video uh, showing y'all how to actually drive the dual clutch transmission but as you can see warren park park is actually drive in itself because i have the parking brake engaged as soon as i punch this over to drive the car is going to be good to go and you can start driving and to turn the car off if you're going to kick it back into drive use the parking brake and then just turn the car off so you're just going to turn it off just how it is but you can see if i punch this over the car is now in drive if i keep it exactly how it is and turn off the car the car is now in park so drive is park the only key is that you use your parking brake and uh, yeah, you just turn off the car basically. That was a super quick breakdown guys of how exactly that works on a BMW. Cause I know a lot of people are curious uh, to find out what exactly is a dual clutch and how does it work. If you found this video helpful, go and smash that thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. And as always, if you're not subscribed, go and smash that subscribe button. We'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace out guys.